Hi everybody, this is a thousand words. I don't normally do this kind of a video, but I thought I would do a follow up for the stream that I had the other night. Uh, in the stream the other night, we were working on a build challenge created by Squirbles. Um, that's who she is on Twitter. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up that, um, that image of, from her challenge. Give me just a second. So it was a coach house and stable conversion. <clears throat> As you can see, Sorry for that uh, throat clearing. Uh, as you can see from this, there is a floor plan. Uh, the plan was no CC, first of all, which was, ugh, really? Uh, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> but it was to take this two-story conversion of a 19th century English coach house and stable. The ground floor would need to stay according to the floor plan. <clears throat> and then you could do whatever you wanted with the top. So I started building this on stream and I just noticed that something is wrong and it bothers me um <laughs> so you could do period features you could go modern i kind of did a little bit of uh, like where are my words my words fail me um <laughs> i'm so awkward i wanted to do a little bit of like a homey feeling so the family that lives here they're modern they've got young kids but they wanted to have some more homey, comfortable, warm kind of feelings to it. So there is some kind of older looking furniture in it. Um, but anyway, this is what it was. Uh, Twitter.com backslash squirbles uh, is her Twitter. And then this was hashtag squirbles coach house. So if it's something that you'd really like to do, and it was a really interesting challenge for me, um, I do enjoy building a lot. Uh, but even this was a bit of a challenge for me. Um, simply because the space inside, let me show you, not that. Um, <laughs> the second floor, you could do whatever you want with. So really it was just this big open kind of U shape and uh, trying to figure out how I wanted to lay that out that didn't look strange to me. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge. I don't do really well with big open boxes. So and the same went for downstairs in this large open space, trying to fill it without making it look like, oh, I'm just trying to fill it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it was. So this is an overview of the build. As you can see, it's just an almost a complete U shape. Um, and then you do have the courtyard part of it here. I did do, on the plan, I think the gate, oh, excuse me, Sims, please. Um, right here, this is where the door would have been, or at least a very large open window. It didn't actually show any kind of a, where would the coaches go? Uh, where would they take the coach or the horses? So I created sort of like um, a garage door, I guess, over here. Um, perhaps they took the old carriage doors, maybe they'd fallen off. And so they replaced them with just sort of a garage door. Um, it is not functional anymore. Now it's just you know, part of the house. They didn't want to get rid of it. Um, and that's, you know, basically that thought process. So uh, the outside, I did add this little area here on the back. So it doesn't mess with the floor plan. The floor plan is still the same, but I wanted just a little family area outside where they could um, grill or whatever. Um, and of course, two trash cans, one for recycling, one for just trash, because I that's how I roll. Um, <laughs> And then uh, this is the basic build. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at an overview really quickly. And then I will kind of do a walkthrough. I'm not really good with the camera. So it's going to be, it's just me. We'll, we'll do it. I'll do what I can. <laughs> uh, this is the second floor. We have kind of a sitting area here. I'll just do it like this. We have a sitting area here where you go upstairs. Um, there is a little bar here so they can have drinks with their friends. There's, um, as you can see, I, you're not blind. Um, there is a chess set here. And then of course, just a, a fish tank. Forgot that word for a second. This is the room for the older girl. Um, I just kind of got carried away with the purple. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I started throwing stuff in there and I really liked how it was looking. So I thought, okay, we'll just keep going with that. Um, and it ended up just being this pinky purple um, little girl room and then a little space for her to to do her homework and write in her diary and then of course her bathroom has to kind of follow that same it's very simple 
Realize I forgot to put toilet paper in here. Oh, bad, bad builder. Um, over here, I wanted kind of a little space where they could, the fire, read a book, um, the fire, watch the fire is what I meant to say. And then I threw in some just tabletop games and a foosball table because it is a family and they're going to want to spend some time together. And I felt like this was the best space to do that in. Uh, and this is for the toddler, the little boy. It's just, it's functional. It can fit him when he gets older. I did put the potty chair in here simply because to me, it's easier when I play for the potty chair to just be in the bedroom with the kid. <laughs> and that way they can use it if they're independent and they can use the potty by themselves. Um, and I don't have to mess up the flow of my bathroom just for something that's only going to be there for such a short time. So anyway, that's why it's in the bedroom. I know it's kind of weird. I never would have put my kid's potty chair in the bedroom, but anyway, it's Sims. So it's all different. The rules are different. Um, just a little green room for him. I did kind of use the same base game bedding and stuff for both kids. Um, wasn't really intentional, but it just kind of matches to me now that I look at it and I'm, I'm happy that I did it that way. I did use some of the jungle adventure stuff for the parents' bathroom. It is a shared bathroom with the toddler. Um, but of course, when it gets older, it'll be, well, it may not be convenient to walk in on mom and dad when they're in the shower, but, um, maybe we can move stuff around later on. I don't know. I thought maybe this could even be one kid's room and this is another kid's room. I know that when I was a kid, my parents gave up their large bedroom so I could have it. And I had like a, uh, a couch in there and TV. It's where my, all my friends hang, hung out. Um, and my parents ended up taking like the smaller room. So <laughs> it could happen. Um, I was really spoiled when I was a kid. So um, this is just the parents' bedroom. I wanted something with red. A lot of the downstairs is in a lot of the beige um, tone. And so I wanted a lot of color upstairs. And uh, I really liked that this bed had sort of just barely red in it. And it let me kind of have free reign with more red stuff in here. Um, you know, red is passion. So um, I think the parents might need that. Who knows? They have two kids in the house. So um, they might need a little passion retreat. Um, that sounds so weird. I'm so sorry. I'm a weird person. <laughs> um, and so right here you have the main entranceway for um, the coach house. And I did just this little place where they could, you know, put their shoes or, you know, whatever. Um, I wish this had hooks inside here that you could hang stuff on. But, you know, I really do really like this cabinet the way it is as well. So um, you have a little place where you can hang stuff over here. A shoe rack, um, coat rack. You can see that. Why am I telling you? Uh, <laughs> on the plan, this is a pantry. So I just filled it with pantry-like stuff. I have no why this no idea why this is clipping. It's a new thing and it really bothers me. Um, I did not use any cheats to put it on the counter. It is just there by itself. It shouldn't be doing that. It is no idea. It's bothering me. So I figured they have a wine cellar, a wine rack. Um, maybe this house could at some point be used like a bed and breakfast. So that's why I have the little all the little teas and stuff. Maybe they have a lot of company. Uh, who knows? And then, of course, you've got just more space over here to do stuff. And then, of course, the best invention or the best addition to The Sims, in my opinion, uh, the realism of the um, broom and dustpan. <laughs> this is their kitchen. And it was it's kind of big for a kitchen that I would normally do. Mine would be about half of this. But the plan did call for this to be a kitchen. So I thought, well, it gives me extra space to really put in a big island and the counter from Jungle Adventures does not allow you a counter. It doesn't have a counter option, which it bothers me and a lot of other people. So what I end up doing instead is I will tend to use this one that has kind of the butcher block top um, as my island in, in conjunction with these. So maybe that's something that you would want to try too. I feel like this one is the least um, conforming to other counters because it just does look like something that you would just want to use as a big chopping surface. So anyway, that's my opinion. I just added some little knickknacks here. I was not sure what to do with this big open space. I kind of wish we had more stuff to hang in the kitchen on the walls. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so I put this up there. It's a little far from the stove, but I figure if you're going to be cutting stuff up over here, maybe you, maybe that would make sense. I don't know. 
Um, and I never used these. I was glad I got a little chance to use it. I really enjoy the little pots hanging from the ceiling, um, but I rarely do a counter space this big um, to hang it over. So I'm glad that I did. Uh, this is the dining room. Again, it was another big space that I wasn't really sure how to fill. So I took one of the biggest tables I could find. I wanted it to be a little rustic. Um, so I believe this is the one from Jungle Adventures. Um, and then I turned out like at first this was a reds chair and I went for the blues at a certain point because I really liked all of the curtains that I was finding um, and I went with that instead. So that's why it's more blue. I did have them set the table just to give you a nice little feel for um, this dining room. And then over here, of course, we have I have some debug stuff. Um, this would be like a little breadboard um, and little bottles of whatever I don't know um, <laughs> and then of course over here there are some glasses the one thing that really bothers me about this hutch first of all I love the way it looks um, and this is from the jungle adventures pack it's one of my favorites but you cannot place things on these shelves um, without using the cheat and they sometimes they don't quite go where they're supposed to as far as how high they raise um, and then on these, it would sit out here instead of actually tucking back up underneath um, the counter. So I wish that they'd given us a little bit more surface um, points where it would click, but they did not. So this is all cheated to put it where it's at. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is the living room or it would have been one of the main stable areas. Um, this is just kind of more beiges and stuff. I really wasn't sure what to do with this space. Um, I don't know why I had such a hard time with this room, but I did. So I thought over here it would just be a little cozy kind of reading nook. Um, and then I never realized that there were headphones on that until just now. Uh, <laughs> um, and then you have just a lot of seating over here to watch TV as a family. Um, I thought the old paintings, I say um a lot, I am so sorry. The paintings are kind of that old, maybe it's the nostalgia of the town in which this carriage house was built. That's my thought process on that. Um, and let me show you what this would look like in here because I did something a little bit different. Um, let me go upstairs. Let's do a tab and then we'll go down with the cue. Slowly. This is why I don't typically do this because it's really slow. Um, so you'll see in here that this is an open space upstairs to the upstairs. Um, and I put in these wooden... They're fencing, but they're really short. And if you put them in the house, they kind of look like beams. Um, so this is like a natural wood beam that was left behind, probably for a support of some sort. Um, and that's where I hung the lighting from because the light from the chandelier upstairs just was not reaching downstairs. And having just a couple of lamps just was not enough for me. Um, it's still kind of dark still, but I figure it works a little bit better than originally. Um, and here I did use kind of those stained glass windows. Um, I feel like it just gives a little bit more majesty. Um, <laughs> so this is the basic. Let me go over here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so here you can see upstairs um, from here. And then, of course, you have the beams and it is walkable. They can go upstairs. It's fine. Um, one thing that's been bothering me lately since Jungle Adventures came out is that the stairwell or the railing clips in the wall. Uh, and you can actually see this on the outside still. They did. It looks like they kind of tried to fix it because it doesn't quite stick out as much as it did with the last patch. Um, but it does stick out. And I just realized that my bit cup is still in the video. Please ignore that. That's from my streaming. Um, <laughs> I feel like a dork. Um, let me get upstairs and then let me fix this because it's bothering me. That needs to go and that needs to go. Okay. <laughs> now let's continue on with the build. Um, okay. So this is the upstairs and, uh, we already went through that, didn't we? I didn't show you the rest of the downstairs. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> over on this side of the main entryway, this was some sort of like a patio. Um, sorry about that really weird noise. I'm not sure what that was. Um, this was not a patio. This was supposed to be sort of um, another kind of pantry or utility closet. Um, and this was supposed to be the bathroom, but I did not. This would have been a massive bathroom. Um, and so I just changed this over to a bathroom. I hope that it still fits in the rules of the challenge. 
I didn't necessarily change the floor plan, but I changed what the room was intended for. So I hope it's still okay. Um, this is just a main bathroom, maybe a guest bathroom. So they've got little um, guest soaps and stuff like that um, down here. Uh, extra towels, things like that. And then this is the the library slash office, um, a little reading chair. I wanted to go with something really comfy and traditional. So that's what these are. Um, I really wish that we had more chairs in The Sims that were kind of like big, comfy, plush chairs, maybe something that's like a chair and a half width, um, something that you could see yourself kind of curling up with a book in. Um, I know that Sims can't necessarily curl up in the chair, um, but they should. <laughs> But um, just having it so they could if they wanted to. Um, then this is the big room on the other side of the U. This is the fireplace, as you can see. Um, and a little area where they could watch the fire. And then over here, oh my god. <laughs> over here is kind of a music area. So they would come and they would have um, entertainers come in possibly. Um, piano, violin, or singing. Uh, or joke telling. Um, <laughs> and then, um, so they can either be active and listen, or they can just watch the fire and kind of passively listen to the music while they read or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's basically the whole house. I've already showed you upstairs, downstairs, and then of course the outside. I went very minimal with the landscaping. I figure this would have been, back in the day, this would have been an actual like fountain with water and all kinds of stuff. Um, but now they just, it's too much upkeep. So the family has decided that they've let nature take its course. It's got flowers in it. And so they've just kind of gone with that whole idea of um, just the flowers and pretty and don't have to worry about the water that way or it freezing over anyway. Um, so that's it. That's all of it. And then this is my little family over here. Oh my God, <laughs> let me let them move. Okay, so this is little Colton and then we have Aubrey, Raina back here. And then the father's name is Enzo. So uh, those were kind of generated and I really liked uh, how they fit together. So um, yeah, so this is the, the little family and they're now occupying Squirrel's coach house. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, please ask. And I also, I stream. So if you ever want to catch me, I'm Wednesday nights, at least right now, that might change. Wednesday nights and Saturday nights, uh, and then just random days thrown in there um, as well. So come back, say hi, and uh, I'd love to get to know you. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.